Welcome back to Core Data Course. My name is Andy. On the first part of our grocery app, we found that the list of items are not being persisted. So let's review real quick what we have. If I'm adding a new item, like milk, and then click add. If I exit this application by command shift H two times, and I exit and come back, the list of items is gone. This is where core data will help solve this issue. So let's now start implementing core data in our app. We are going to start setting up our entities. So you can think of entities like tables in database. It will have attributes or property and records. So I'm going to click the add entities and I'm going to rename these entities to groceries. And now I'm going to create an attribute. I'm going to call this an item. And it has a type of string. So now let's go back to the grocery table view controller and we're going to start making some update. And the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to import core data framework on our app. And I'm going to change our grocery from the array of string to an array of ns manage object. So this will capture the array of items from our grocery entity that we created earlier. Now let's review real quick what we have on app delegate. In day-to-day -day basis, we will only be using manage object context to interact with our data store. Manage object context will interact with persistent coordinator which act as a bridge to our data store. So the persistent coordinator will encapsulate the type of data store that we will use. So now, in order to access our data, we will need to have a reference to our managed object context. Back to our grocery table view controller, we need to get a reference to the managed object context in app delegate. To get the reference to the managed object context, we will create the reference to app delegate in view did load. First, I'm going to get the reference to our app delegate. So if we can get it from UI application shared application dot delegate, and we're going to cast that as an app delegate uh, let me get the properties for the manage object so manage object context it will be the type of ns manage object context so now we can get that reference from our app delegate dot manage object context. The next thing we're going to update our add action in the add action function. So instead of putting the value of what the user type in for the item into the groceries array, we're going to insert that value into our grocery entity. So let me remove this. And let's create our entity and as entity description we're going to use the entity for name and the entity name is going to be the grocery that we created earlier and the manage object context is our self manage object context and that we get from the app delegate and then we need to set our grocery so it's going to be ns manage object and the entity is equal to the entity and insert into manage object context again we pass in the self manage object context 
and now we can enter what the user type in into our grocery entity we're going to use set value text field that text and we're using the four key and this is going to be our attribute name So now we need to save our new item to the grocery entities. So let's do do try self manage object context dot save. And since we're using do try cats, we need to put the cats. I'm going to just use fatal error right now. Error in st in storing to core data all right and then like before we need to be able to reload our table view so i'm going to create a new function here to load our data i'm going to call it load data so create let's create that function now function Load, load data so in order to load data from our grocery entity we're going to use the fetch request so this is another concept of core data so let request is going to be ns fetch request and we're going to pass in our entity that we're going to fetch from which is going to be grocery and then since we're dealing with fetching we also need to do inside the do try catch so the let result equal try manage object context dot execute fetch request and we're passing in our request object and then we're going to populate our groceries array with the results as and the object coming back from this result is going to be ns manage object after that we can do the reload of our table view and I need to put in the cats here we're going to simply put a fatal error and put the mess error in retrieving grocery items the next thing that we want to make sure is this load data will be called when the view will appear on user's device I'm going to override the function view will appear we can call super view will appear animated and we just simply call the load data here and finally we need to update our cell for row at index path so now we want to get the the data from the grocery entities so i'm going to remove this so let's do let grocery groceries index path that row and the cell that text label that text will get the data from grocery and using the value for key and the key will be the item the attributes name that we have and we're going to cast that as a string
and we need to unwrap the text label all right i think we are ready now to build and test our app so let's run it all right so uh, this is from the previous test so let's reset our simulator you can do from simulator reset content and settings to make sure it starts fresh so i'm going to reset it and the simulator will clean all the old data so let's run it again now we should be getting an empty list all right so i'm going to add few items here so like milk and then let's do grapes all right so now if i stop this simulator and i'm going to bring it back up and we go back to our grocery list now the list is being persisted so let's add one more item, Apple, and then we're going to close this application by pressing Command Shift H two times. Going to exit and going back to that grocery list app, and now we have all the items still there. So in our next lecture, we will take a look at how we can subclass our model and take advantage of accessing our entities and attributes using Xcode code completion. So like right now we're using the key value and we're going to change that. So until next time.